Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Miles Music Media. Jim here in another quick dosage of MuseScore videos. Quick tips I like to provide so it can speed up your workflow. Today's video is for beginners, time signature, and tempo tutorial. Let's begin. Oh, by the way, I am using the most recent up-to-date MuseScore version as of March 2021. All right, everything you see up here is what you'll learn from today's video. So let's jump to time signatures. Let's say you want to have the common time sign instead of the 4-4. Go ahead and click on that. Then right mouse click. Go to time signature properties. Go to appearance. And there you go. Now for time signatures. Let's go ahead and make this a 5-4 bar. Shortcut will be shift T. And then you can drag and drop a 5-4 bar like that. And now we have that. Sometimes when we have music with different time signatures, we need to make it bigger. So we're going to highlight the 5-4 here. And we're going to go to inspector. So we're going to go to F8. And now we're going to go under time signature. We're going to look for scale X and scale Y. It's over here. X is going to be the horizontal. You can see it stretching out. And you guessed it, Y would be the vertical. You can make that as big as you like. And because today is St. Patrick's Day, I can't resist. Although I think darker green would be better, but I'll behave myself and continue this tutorial. All right, there we go. So that time signature is bigger. Oh, and if you want to delete a time signature, just go ahead and click on a time signature, press delete. All right, so now it's time to create a new tempo. Pretty easy, the shortcut is Alt-Shift-T. Now that we have that, most of you probably know you can change the BPM pretty easily. Just go ahead and get the cursor aligned. Now we want to maybe say you don't want a quarter equals 98, you want an eighth note. So we have that double clicked. What I like to do is bring the cursor up there. I'm gonna delete this quarter note first. Now I'm gonna to go to special characters. It's way over here, looks like a little fish. Click on that, then click on eighth note. That's what I said. All right, and there you go. We wanna make it bigger, no problem. There's a few ways of doing it. You can go ahead and double click and use the font here. But if you wanna get fancy and try other things, you can go to the inspector, F8. And here, if you have a lot of music, uh, meaning key signature and lots of notes, you might need to move this around. I usually just work within the text, but you can use the alignment here. That's really cool. Now with tempo, let's say we want to use an expression like uh, Allegro. We'll make Allegro tempo over here. Let's go to the palette, F9, and we're going to simply take Allegro, drag and drop it to this measure. And let's say you want the Allegro to change on this beat, then you drop it there. You can also double click on this and you can write in your own marking if you want, like kind of fast or Happy St. Patrick's Day. Really grateful if you're speeding up your workflow and making great music for this world. I wish everyone well. Please take care and thank you. Bye-bye.